so look today's vlog is going to be a special edition uh, i'm actually not vlogging my entire day i'm on my way to the gym because we're going to be finishing up the narrative for what is going to be my documentary and right now i just got goosebumps because sometimes i just get these moments where everything like the details of everything just kind of hit me like i'm in a position right now where someone's actually making a documentary about me like this is insane i have 50,000 some odd people who watch my videos all right and i'm i'm a, you can fast forward if if the sappiness is going to bother you but i'm just so appreciative of all the support and it's so surreal all the things that are happening in my life right now it's like I, I can almost not even believe it but it feels so divine i feel like god is using me for something bigger than i can even imagine and this this journey this channel this story everything i've been through it's not about me it's so much more than about me it's about you guys and i just want to thank you guys for the opportunity to just live my purpose because that's what I'm doing. Every day with these vlogs, when I speak to you guys via social media, you know, when we speak in person at the meetups, when we, when I um, converse with you guys via email, like this is what I've been put here to do. I really believe that I'm a man of service and God put me here to serve as an, a vessel to inspire people, to show people that no matter what your background is, no matter how your story starts, you can control how it ends. And I just want to take the moment right now, I'm choking up a little bit, to just say thank you. Like, I don't take y'all for granted. And when I say it, just know I mean that. Set up. We're just waiting for the gym to close so we can turn the lights off and kill the music. I'm excited to pump. I am not responsible for anything that she does. She did not take her medication today. You are responsible because you love it. Documenting the document. Whatever. Listen, we finally sitting here getting this in, man. Finally. Finally, man. So we're really trying to cover. I'm really interested in your in, in like your mind frame. Mm -hmm. You know, the shift, the the, the peaks, the valleys, yeah. you know, just the whole journey of your mind. Cause I, you know, in talking to you, I kind of feel like the weight is one transformation. But you make it very, very, very clear that like, like fitness was kind of just like the vessel that a lot of the life lessons that I needed to learn were delivered to me. Just the basics, you know, like discipline and consistency. I, I don't know. I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know the direction my life should be going in. I, I, I grew up feeling alone in the world. What kind of a kid? I was a, I was a good kid. I wasn't a thug, right? But I was I wasn't a punk. You know what I'm saying? I didn't look for trouble, but when trouble came my way, I handled it. I never backed down from anybody. Like I I, I, I didn't fear anybody. Talk about the terrain and what Brooklyn was in the late '80s and the early '90s. It was crazy, man. The the gang activity was running rampant. It's the feeling started evolving to. To something, even when it started evolving, that I couldn't pinpoint. It was just something like an, an innate feeling that I felt that I was here for something big, for something um, impactful. You know what I'm saying? Like I had the side that I wanted to try to get a good job. I wanted to um, be a responsible man. And then, I, like, 
the streets always like that activity always kind of it was the only thing I knew it was more of a survival thing you know so when money got low it was automatically like my default would be okay what can I do to get some some money up real quick you said you tried and failed about 20 different times to, to, to lose weight um, did that add any sort of depression to your mind state? Like, I now know how to frame failure. I understand the, the role that failure has in success. But at that time, every time I failed, it just it took a little piece of me away, a, a little piece of my confidence away. I wasn't confident at all in my ability to do it, but some a light switch, something clicked in me. And I can't even explain it. It's something that I couldn't even, I can't put it into words, but something literally clicked inside of me. In my existence, I felt it. And from the moment that I made that decision, I knew where this was going. I just knew that me losing weight would affect every single area of my life. And that was my, my main motivation. I do kind of want to jump into what your motivation is now, bro. Health and, and wellness, you know, physical wellness, spiritual, mental wellness. Um, and I want to age gracefully. I want to be active well into my 70s and 80s. When did you start feel, when did you start realizing that your mentality was changing? After I got in trouble, um, I started, I started noticing that my decision making started improving. So, um, it had a lot to do with the anguish that I experienced from, from that, from that uh, situation. Um, I started connecting. You know, pain is the best teacher, you know. Um, but that's when it, when it kind of started. So we just wrapped up uh, the interview portion of of the because uh, we're, we're doing this for basically the, the this is going to be the glue that holds the entire documentary together that's going to kind of be like the narrative um we sat here for two and a half hours and we just chopped it up um big shout out to my man treasy man the mastermind behind all this you know martin on the hit out my man martin thank you bro i appreciate you guys my man Brandon, man, as always, man, I appreciate you, bro. Like, go down. But um, I'm about to go home. I'm tired. I'm about to eat these ground, this ground turkey. <laughs> I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys and just let you guys know what's going on in my life and give you guys some uh, behind the scenes, uh, uh, behind the scenes look at this process because I'm excited. This is a uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been working on this thing for over a year now. So uh, I'm excited to see it all come together. And I will keep you guys posted on everything. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.